So, um, by, uh, we continue with uh, our discussion of how we make words, how uh, and what are words. So, we are talking about how we make words and categories of words that we use in our day to day language, in our English language. So, uh, specifically today we are going to talk about verbs verbs, main verbs as well as supporting ver verbs and we are going to see what they are. Then we will see some idioms, comparatives, comparatives as in adjectives, what are adjectival comparatives and then we will also do some listening with lots of exercises thrown in. So, uh, we are going to talk about verbs now and look at the sentences. The decoids rob the village. I dislike television soaps. I have underlined the verbs here. She traveled across the country. She traveled across the country. So, travel. Um, so, these are verbs. Now, what do verbs suggest? Verbs suggest action, they indicate action. So, what did the decoids do? They rob. What do, uh, what are, uh, what do television soaps mean to me? I dislike. So, that is uh, a feeling, but here it is used as a uh, verb. I like television soaps. Again, it is a lie, I mean you are using a prefix here dis, d-i-s. Uh, you can also use like and uh, the, sen uh, the, the meaning may change from dislike to like, but still the verb would not. So, dislike or like or love or hate, okay. all these are verbs, they suggest action. Now, she travelled across the country, she travelled, travelling is an action. Now, uh, all these are single words, single verbs, single words, but you can also use something like I should have been, I should have been um, doing anything, I should have been in Europe right now, but I am not, you see, but still your word, your, your verb is should have been, it is a different category, this also, so all these are, all the underlined words are verbs here. Now, um, there are verbs that can stand on their own, robbed, disliked, travel, they are called full verbs, they can stand on their own without depending or referring to other verb. So, again let us think of examples, let us collect our things, verb is collect. She made um, a machine, she made a doll, she made a dress. So, made is a full verb, they conducted an experiment, they conducted an experiment, conduct is a verb. These are all full verbs, they do not need other verbs to support them or other words to support them. However, there is another category called auxiliary verbs. You have full verbs that do not need any support, you have auxiliary verbs, 
Now, what are auxiliary verbs? These are also called helping verbs. Now, let us look at the examples of um, auxiliary words or ver verbs. Shall, should, can, could, may, might, will, would. Additionally, you also have may, uh, sorry, must. Okay. In certain cases, you have need also. I need a book. Okay. Uh, I must have a book. You must do this. So, these are auxiliaries. Now, um, uh, let us uh, think of uh, a sentence like, I can do this. I can drive. Now, drive is the main verb, but can is an auxiliary. It is a helping verb. However, there is an, uh, uh, we have to be careful, we do not say can able to drive. Okay. So, can does not go, I am able to drive, I can drive, but we do not use the two verbs together like I can able to drive, this is wrong. So, please keep these um, points in mind. Then also uh, some other auxiliary verbs. Now, um, one is B type. Okay. B type as in is, are, was, were and also am. B. It can be been, the, but we use generally use for is, are, was as when we use a present tense. Then am, first person singular. I am teaching, I am student, I am a student, I am studying. So, am is an auxiliary, very important. Um, B is a very important auxiliary and it has all these forms. We also have the have form, has, had, have. And then we have the do form, do, does, and when it becomes past tense, we have did. I do not like it, I did not watch it, and uh, she does not like it, she did not do it. Okay, so, these are the auxiliaries. Mm, sometimes these words, so these verbs can also act as full verbs and also as auxiliaries. So, let us say I am good. Now, I am good. It does not matter I am good at what? I am good at whatever. Uh, I am good at studying. I am good at writing. I am good at painting. Uh, but here, let us remember you have only one main verb that is am and it is a be form of here. So, it can, it can also function as a full verb. So, always keep these distinctions in mind, where to use them as full and where to use them as auxiliaries. However, we do not be mixing them as in can able to do it. Um, now, um, some examples. Uh, I am going to give you some examples. Um, Let us look at this slide. Water boils at 100 degree, oxygen is a gas, the metal is a good conductor of electricity, wood floats on water, some kinds of wood sink in water, action and reaction are opposite and equal this acid is dangerous. So, where are the verbs and what are what are the kinds? So, let us go through these sentences again. Let us look at them again. Water boils at 100 degree. Main verb is boils. Oxygen is a gas. Main verb is. It 
it's a B form, right? Of auxiliary. So uh, here it acts as a full verb. This metal is a good conductor of electricity. Now, conductor is not a verb here. Is is the verb. The wood floats on water. Floats is the main verb. Some kinds of wood sink in water. Now, which is the main verb here? Sink that denotes action. Action and reaction are opposite and equal. Only one main verb that is R. This acid is dangerous and is again is a main verb. These chemicals are dangerous, are again becomes your main verb. So, these are the examples where auxiliaries do not need any uh, other verb. Now, let us look at this exercise. Let us look at the passage here and I will read it out for you. I have already highlighted the verbs here. You should be able to identify what verbs are those and where are the auxiliaries. The EPA uh, on Friday accused VW that is Volkswagen of installing illegal defeat device software that dramatically reduces nitrogen oxide emissions, but only when the cars are undergoing strict emission tests. Now, how many verbs do you find in the first sentence itself? Let us go through it again. What did the EPA do? It accused. Okay. So, accused is a main verb here. Installing is another verb here. Illegal defeat that dramatically reduces. So, reduces also is your verb here. It is a complex sentence in which we have multiple verbs. But only when the cars are undergoing, so you have are undergoing, here the B form R is an auxiliary, strict emission test. Now, I have done the second part of the passage for you and all the ver verbs are highlighted. The EPA accused Volkswagen of using, again using is a verb, the device and this much four cylinder Volkswagen and Audi diesel cars in the US since 2008. Uh, Volkswagen must recall and must recall is another verb. Recall and must is a is an auxiliary here. At the cars, remove the defeat device and improve the cars uh, nitrogen oxide emissions which creates smog and has been linked to increased asthma attacks and other respiratory illnesses. So, so many verbs and used in a variety of ways with or without auxiliaries. Let us look at this. The EPA said, again said is a main verb here. Volkswagen could face other action and fines for the alleged breach of the Clean Air Act. The so, could is an auxiliary. The maximum fine for violations of the act is this much uh, US dollars per vehicles, which works out is a phrasal verb to a maximum possible fine as high as 18 billion dollars. So, here you have just seen a very good example of a complex piece of writing. This is not an easy uh, composition. This requires um, an advanced level understanding of how to use auxiliaries, how to mix auxiliaries and how to use main verbs and how to combine auxiliaries with main verbs. I am giving you this 
exercise and here your I want you to rewrite the following using is or are in the main verb form. So, please look at these sentences, I will read them out for you. These complicated experiments, I want you to write um, a B form of the verb here, whatever place you think appropriate. Oxygen necessary for living, angles measuring 90 degrees right angles, sea water salty, uh, one revolution of the earth completed in 365 and one quarter days. Where do we insert the is or are the B form of verb, main verbs here? Let us solve it. So, these are complicated experiments. Oxygen is necessary for living. Angles measuring 90 degrees are right angles. Sea water is salty. One revolution of the earth is completed in 365 and one quarter days. So, here we have just seen how is and are are used as main verbs. Let us move on to do another exercise. Please take a look here at this exercise. Uh, I want you to use has, have or is wherever appropriate. Let us solve it. Water, it will not be is a boiling point temperature. Water has a boiling point temperature of 100 degrees. Steel is a metal alloy. So, state so, steel is what is steel? It is a metal alloy. The car or this car has a speed um, of 150 kilometer per hour. A triangle has three, it com comprises, consists of three lines. The highway has a length, not is a length, has a length. We are talking about a particular highway and what is it, what are the qualities? It has a length of several hundred kilometers. So, how we use his, uh, has, have or is. Now, let us move on to do another exercise. This is a fairly complex one. I will read it out for you. Look at the text. With its brands, the BMW Group Dash, one of the world's most successful premium manufacturers of automobiles and motorcycles, as well as a provider of premium services for individual mobility long term thinking and responsible action dash the basis of the company's economic success. It dash a company that dash firmly anchored in its strategy ecological and social sustainability along the entire value chain, comprehensive product responsibility and a clear commitment to the preservation of resources. So, how do we solve it? With this brand, the BMW Group is one of the most, uh, one of the world's most successful premium manufacturers. Next para, long term thinking and responsible action is the basis of the company's economic success. It is a company that has firmly anchored in its strategy, ecological and social sustainability along the entire value chain. So, with its brands, the BMW Group is one of the second uh, answer. Long term thinking and responsible action is the basis. Uh, it is a company that has firmly anchored in its strategy, ecological and social sustainability along the entire value chain. Let us move on to another passage, the next passage. 
Rolls Royce motor cars dash the pinnacle luxury automobile manufacturer in the world. Based in Goodwood, West Sussex, Rolls Royce motor cars supplies customers with cars that dash renowned for their supreme quality, exquisite hand craftsmanship and attention to the finest detail. This reputation dash built up over the company's long lasting richly traditional history. Today the company's phantom and ghost models continue the finest traditions of the past delivering the promise of effortless power, silence and a ride that dash likened to wafting along on a magic carpet. So let us solve it. Rolls Royce motor cars is the pinnacle luxury automobile manufacturer in the world. Based in Goodwood, West Sussex, Rolls Royce motor cars supplies customers with cars that are renowned for their supreme quality, exquisite hand craftsmanship and attention to the finest detail. This reputation is built up over the companies or um, we can even use was built up over the company's long lasting richly traditional history. Today the company's uh, phantom and ghost models continue the finest tradition of the past delivering the promise of effortless power, silence and a ride that is likened to that is like a compar comparable to wafting along on a magic carpet. So, this is the way we have to uh, solve. Um, let us look at why Rolls Royce car motor cars is the pinnacle luxury automobile because see um, we are talking about manufacturer. Okay, so, it has to be is okay, just because we are not talking about multiple cars here. So, therefore, the verb would not be are. Now, now um, here is an ex uh, I would like to give you an exercise, you please do it yourself and I would like you to write a description of any vehicle you like or prefer or would you want to use and uh, make sure that you use uh, plenty of main verbs and auxiliary verbs and use is and have forms, is and has forms here. Okay, so, that is your do it yourself exercise. Um, now, let us move on to doing another exercise and what I want you to do, I, wa I would like you to use the correct form of the verbs given in the bracket. So, let us look at the exercise here. Harley Davidson dash and you have to use the B form of the verb here probably the most famous motorcycle manufacturer in the world and dash again use the B form based in the United States, Milwaukee, Wisconsin even tough they consider uh, 1903 as their starting year. Uh, they could just as well consider 1901 because it dash then when Bill Harley completed the first blueprint of a Harley engine. In 1903, the same Bill Harley and Arthur Davidson revealed their first motorized effort calling it the first Harley motorcycle. It dash the B form a racing bike built in a woodshed that had Harley Davidson motor company scrawled on it. That same year Arthur's brother Walter Davidson joined the company. In a very short time the first Harley Davidson dealer opened shop in 1904 and dash to sell three Harley bikes. In true American style a Harley model wins a 15 mile race in Chicago in 1905 and the same year Harley Motor Company dash hired its first employee. Uh, e a year later they open up a bigger factory and hire five more people. The same year 1906 they dash the first motorcycle catalog in the world. Let us solve the exercise. Let us look at it again. Harley Davidson is probably the most famous motorcycle manufacturer in the world and is based in the United States, Milwaukee, 
because it was then because now we are suddenly talking about the past ok. So, 1903 so they could just as well consider 1901 because it was then when Bill Harley completed the first blueprint mm, next line it was a racing bike. So, now from present we are talking about Harley Davidson and what is it? is the most famous motorcycle in the world and then we are talking about its history. So, therefore, verb shifts from is present to was as in past. The first Harley motorcycle it was a racing bike built in a woodshed that had Harley Davidson motor company scrawled on it. That same year Arthur's brother joined the company in a very first in a very short time the first Harley Davidson dealer opened shop and managed to sell three Harley bikes in true American style. A Harley model wins a 15 mile race in Chicago in 1905 and the same year Harley Motor Company hired its first employee. A year later they open a bigger factory and they hire five more people. The same year they produce the first motorcycle catalog in the world. Now, here this is an interesting example why because it begins with is. Now, uh, but the tone of the uh, passage is such that it you can also replace many of the past tense with is because he is just talking about as it as if it ha just happened yesterday. Okay, as if it just happened recently. So, therefore, a year later they open up the last sentence a bigger factory and hire five, five more people. Now, here again you need not you worry about hired or hire. Okay. So, but you have to be very careful it was a racing bike built in a yeah that definitely past tense. Okay. Uh, the same year Walter Davidson joined the company, but it could also be he joins the company. Why? Because um, well it is you know more creative to use the verb in this way. In a very short time uh, the Harvey D Davidson dealer opens shop not opened shop. Okay. So, he is almost using in a very literary way. So, let us not get confused about these things. Now, I am going to give you another exercise and here the verbs are extremely clear you have to use uh, uh, fill in the blanks using these verbs travel, claimed, learnt, raised. Please look at the slide. These are the words, verbs that you should be using here and fill in the blanks. Travel, claimed, learnt, raised, goes, became, arrive. Okay, so, this is the passage. Here is the passage. Motor racing in Argentina has a long history that dash back to the opening decades of the 20th century when wealthy enthusiasts took to the country's open roads and dash each other in cars often imported from Europe but fitted with American V8 motors. By 1940 these races had grown longer and more organized. One such race dash almost 6000 miles from its starting point in Buenos Aires north across the Andes and finished in Lima, Peru, 13 days later. It was in these races that Argentina's most famous racer dash his craft. El Mastro Juan Manuel Fangio was born in the Buenos Aires province of Belacar, uh, Belcas. He started his career in the 1930s, but true fame and success would dash later in life. He travelled to Europe to compete in Grand Prix machinery in 1948 and dash the star of the first decade of the Formula 1 world championship. In 1950, Fangio narrowly lost the inaugural F1 title to Alfa Romeo teammate Giuseppe Farina, but dash the crown for the first time for the following first time the following season. Work it out, I will give you some time. So, the answers are first blank is goes, second is raised, third travelled, fourth learnt, 
fifth arrive, six became and the last one is claimed. I will read it out. In 1950, Fangio narrowly lost the inaugural F1 title to Alfa Romeo teammate Giuseppe Farina, but claimed the crown for the first time the following season. Now, look at these examples. These are all main verbs. Okay? We are not now dealing with auxiliaries here, but we have looked at main verbs throughout. However, in the Harley Davidson um, passage, we have looked at a mix of auxiliaries and also a mix of main verbs and the idea was that how sometimes main verbs can be used in present and past depending on the style of the writer. Now, in the Harley Davidson passage you have seen it's, it is, uh, uh, he uses a style where um, past almost merges into present. Okay, so, therefore, throughout he uses uh, a, a, a sense, a tone which is more related to the present tense or the present times. It is like nothing ever changed for Harley Davidson that is the context. Therefore, he consistently uses the uh, main verb in present tense form. Okay, uh, I am now going to give you a list of verbs. Look at this list and I would like you to make sentences of your own. These are the words that may that you may come across in your day to day studies or writings. Freezes, equals, weighs, measures, consists, melts, boils, pulls. Okay? Use them in sentences of your own. Let us move on to do now idioms and phrases. Idioms and phrases are those words or those expressions that add more variety, more color, more novelty to your expression and the way you use the English language. So, here are a couple of uh, idioms. The meanings are given at the bottom. However, you need to match the idioms with their meanings. Let us look at the first one. Get into gear, put the brakes on be on the wa same wavelength, blue a fuse, let off steam. Please look at the answers given below, however, you have to match the answer. So, I would suggest that uh, now that you have a dictionary, you please use your dictionary and see which meaning fits which idiom. So, thank you very much.